revamping an icon is never easy, especially when that icon's history is as storied as the Jeep Wrangler's. I'll spare you the details that you, probably, already know, but the all-new 2018 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Sahara, in all of its heated leather seats and Apple CarPlay glory, is the modern-day descendant of the World War II Jeeps that helped roll back totalitarianism in Europe and Asia. Basically, the new 2018 Wrangler has some pretty big shoes to fill, and a lot of boxes to check, too. Codenamed JL, the new Wrangler replaces the decade-old but beloved JK series Wrangler. Associate editor Scott Evans did an excellent job digging into all the changes, big and small, made to the 2018 Wrangler in his first look and first drive, so I'll keep things brief. Basically, the Wrangler is new from its axles and frame on up to its three new, still removable, roof options. Jeep's goal for the new 2018 Wrangler is to balance the dueling demands of those who buy Wranglers to adventure off-road and those who buy them to drive around town because they look cool. Of the three versions of the new Wrangler on sale, Sport, Sahara, and Rubicon, none sums this duality up better than the luxury and street-oriented Sahara. With the Wrangler Rubicon expected to capture the hardcore off-roaders and the Wrangler Sport serving as the jack-of-all-trades entry into the lineup, the Wrangler Sahara is aimed mostly at buyers who prefer streets to slick rock. Its standard features and options list reflects that. Standard are four doors, every other Wrangler variant is also available with two doors, street-oriented tires, chrome accents, and body color fender flares that would get pinstriped off-road. The Wrangler Sahara's option list is long, but notable is a Sahara exclusive Select Track full-time four-wheel drive system, which is ideal for those only using their Jeep's four-wheel drive system in inclement weather. Aside from the optional Select Track transfer case, the 2018 Wrangler Sahara shares the rest of its powertrain with its Sport and Rubicon stablemates. Under the hood is a retuned version of the JK Wrangler's 3.6-liter V6, in the Sahara making 285 horsepower and 260 pounds to feet of torque. A six-speed manual is standard but our tester is equipped with an optional 8-speed automatic. A new 2.0-liter turbocharged i4 making 268 horsepower and 295 pounds to feet of torque is optional, and a 3.0-liter turbo diesel V6 is expected to join the lineup next year. At the track, the 10 years, and roughly 200 pounds. Separating the new Wrangler from the old JK model is readily apparent. Stomp on the accelerator, and the 2018 Wrangler Sahara accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.9 seconds and goes through the quarter mile in 15.3 seconds at 89.9 miles per hour. That's a drastic improvement over the last JK Jeep we tested, a 2016 Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon equipped with a soft top and 5-speed auto. It needed 8.2 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour and 16.3 seconds to get through the quarter at 82.5 miles per hour. The new Jeep stops and turns way better than the old one. Two. Its best 60 to 0 mile per hour performance was 128 feet and it lapped our figure 8 course in a respectable 28.3 seconds at 0.58 grams average. The 2018 Wrangler beats the old one at the pump, too. It's EPA rated at 18 slash 23 20th mile per gallon city slash highway slash combined versus 16 slash 2018 mile per gallon. In our mixed testing, we averaged an indicated 19.7 miles per gallon. Whereas the old Wrangler was charmingly sluggish and rough around the edges, the new Jeep drives like a modern pickup. It still feels like a Jeep, yes, but the ride is buttoned down and forgiving. The front end doesn't wander waywardly over bumps, and the Wrangler's steering, although still a slow ratio for off-roading, is well weighted and accurate on the road. The Wrangler's new 8-speed automatic significantly livens up Jeep's 3.6-liter V6, 
2. The new 8 speed shifts quickly and unobtrusively and is happy to hold a lower gear going uphill during passing or downhill to help you maintain speed. Finally freed of the boat anchor 5 speed, the V6 feels quick and athletic, with plenty of passing power on tap. I'm told you'll want the optional 2.0 liter engine if you drive it, but if you never bother I think most will be satisfied with the V6. The new transmission also has the added benefit of helping make the Wrangler's cabin quieter than before by keeping engines rev lower. The cabin of our loaded tester, equipped with an optional hard top and hard top headliner, leather, and heated seats, is a much nicer place to spend time than the previous Wrangler. I wouldn't go so far as to call the Wrangler Sahara's cabin luxurious, but it feels premium, with soft, high quality leather, soft touch plastics, comfortable seats, and a modern infotainment system.